welcome to starting it with Fidel Brett. I'm Fidel Brett, and this is my channel where we talk about starting it, starting anything from business or starting a business or scaling a business or starting a career or changing a career. So today is just going to be more like a chit chat of um, contracts and why contracts are important in a business as well as in a job as well as in a career because contracts could e either make you or screw you so let's enjoy the chit chat today so why do i really want to talk about contracts a lot of people sort of get into um, a business or start working with other people or start getting clients and there's nothing in writing saying what it is you're going to be doing what it is um, you're going to offer business wise or service wise or product wise as well as if you do have a product if anything goes wrong do you know you could be liable so you sort of have to have something in writing which is could be legally binding um, if you do end up going to the court of law because a contract will say where your liability starts and where your liability ends and that's why contracts are quite important in the business especially in businesses so one of the things as well is the first one is literally a contract protects your business it shows how professional you are and you actually do take your business seriously because um, some people just look at it and say oh, I want you to start tomorrow but if you start tomorrow they can end it the next day if they're not happy however if you got something in writing saying oh if anything goes wrong you let us know or this is the amount of time you need to give us at least give us a bit of notice so that we can rectify it so that's why contracts do come in quite handy if you start a business as well as if you're scaling you need to modify your contracts as well because some certain aspects of what you had in your business when you started have changed and if you are moving up the ladder you need to change things as well as you move up the ladder because now you're gonna have more responsibility and your clients will expect more of you so they will expect some certain aspects from you as a service or um, or a product you're providing to them so they will expect you to modify and update that contract to show what kind of service you're providing for them so the first one is here yeah, ensuring that it shows your professionalism and the second one is it mitigates risks as I said earlier on and the risk could be anything so it could be in um, you've you've done something verbally or you said something verbally to your client however if it's not written it doesn't show where your risk starts and where your risk ends let's say you send a member of staff to a client's location or a colleague and something goes wrong so normally in um, health and safety standards when someone is in another person's premises that person is under that person's jurisdiction however if there's nothing in writing it doesn't show where things start and where things end so you have to, you need to have things in writing so that that mitigates your risk both for you as an employer or as you as an employee for your business that's the second one the third one is it shows your commitment to your clients it shows that you are serious with the business that you're currently doing and that it shows that you are committed to provide the service it shows that you're committed to go the extra mile because all that is going to be written in the contract showing exactly what it is you're going to do and how you're going to go about doing it that's the third one the fourth one is it's you're looking at maintaining compliance because in some organizations or in some professions you will get audited so if you don't have certain client um, contracts in place and the auditors come you can get into trouble for that and as well as you can get fined for that so in some professions you have to have compliance in place and um, 
it just shows here yeah, how legal you are taking your business to be and how you want your employees as well to show how committed then the fifth one is increasing operational efficiency so when you have a contract in place it can make you sort of plan in advance because now you know you've got a contract for let's say six months or you've got a contract for 12 months you know in 12 months you're going to need xyz employees you're going to spend xyz amount of money for certain things you're going to um, be able to budget and you can budget and know how much is going to come in based on that contract because you already have a certain guaranteed income for that period of time and it will sort of help you plan for an operational um, aspect that's the fifth one the sixth one is it generates revenue as I just said earlier on because now you can plan and then if you get another contract you're planning as well to say yes this contract is going to be for another three months or it's going to be for another six months or it's going to be for another 12 months so you know that you generated that amount of income only based on that contract so you're planning based on what's coming through the door and then you can know what you're working with and what you're not working with that's the sixth one the seventh one is it shows your values and it shows the vision of your brand because it will be specified within the contract what you do and how you're going to go about doing it and when you sort of have a contract in place it more or less shows who you are and what your brand stands for and what your brand offers so it just opens you up more to how professional you are to your clients so those have been my five six seven tips on why contracts are important in a business if you have found it very useful or quite educational please give us a thumbs up turn on your notification so that when we do post our weekly videos that you get notified and like subscribe as well as put a comment down on what other tips or tricks you'd like to know if you're thinking of starting a business or scaling a business or if you try thinking of a career or changing your career what more tips you would like to know about so that we can create content for you so hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll see you again next week bye